I'm Keith Ponywise. I'm an international financial advisor here at Walkner Condon Financial Advisors. We're based in Madison, Wisconsin, but we work with clients all around the world. And one of the questions that we frequently get from clients all around the world is, how do I open a brokerage account uh, or an IRA or a Roth IRA living outside of the United States? And the answer is not as straightforward as it seems because clients frequently face kind of an overlapping set of rules. As you may be aware, as a U.S. citizen, uh, wherever you live in the world, you're liable for U.S. taxes. Uh, and one of the requirements there is uh, what's called FATCA, the Foreign uh, Account Tax Compliance Act. And that also affects the banks and financial institutions. So one of the original solutions for many folks was, in their co country of origin, simply open up a, a brokerage account or an, you know, something like that there, well, with FATCA, fewer and fewer of those options are available. And in any case, for that tax reporting reason, it probably doesn't make the most sense to open a brokerage outside of the U.S. because if you're doing U.S. tax reporting, one of the things that's very helpful is a 1099. You would also have to report that foreign brokerage account on your FinCEN 114. And on top of that, there's a higher likelihood that you would buy uh, what are called PFIX, passive foreign investment co companies, which would be tax toxic in the U.S. So generally what we recommend is opening an account in, uh, with a brokerage that's U.S. based that works with clients outside of the United States. Now, each brokerage in the world will, depending on where you are, open accounts for you. But some are a little more open and receptive than others. On top of this, in addition to just getting the account open, you will also have to worry about local compliance and what you can and can't buy. One of the newer restrictions that's come on board that's restricted the sales of ETFs and, and uh, mutual funds is uh, red regulation in the European Union that re restricts retail customers from buying certain things in the United Kingdom. Consequent, or in the European Union, pardon. Consequently, it gets further and f further down a path of thinking about local regulation, U.S. regulation, and so on and so forth. So one of the, the you know, things that we recommend is thinking about your strategy as you go in. That said, there are a couple of places that you can work with. One is interactive brokers. No matter, pretty much, as long as it's not a, uh, a country on a U.S. sanctions list, you'll be able to open a brokerage account there. Now, if you're in the European Union, uh, you'll be subject to those restrictions I mentioned earlier. But if you're elsewhere in the world, chances are you should be able to look at buying ETFs and they'll open an account for you uh, as a retail client. Now, one thing to bear in mind, they may have minimums. Uh, they may, you know, uh, they, they do charge a fee on trading, things like that. But generally, no matter where you are in the world, again, as long as they're not on a sanctions list, you should be able to open a retail account with interactive brokers. Another good custodian that many people are familiar with is Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab will open retail clients uh, accounts around the world. That list is not as universal as it is in, at Interactive Brokers, but they work with a number of, of major countries. Again, though, as a retail client, one of the things you have to worry about is the, the restrictions on trading ETFs if you're in the European Union. If you're in a country that they serve outside of the European Union, you don't face those restrictions. A final option is a little bit different. It's not a brokerage in the traditional sense, but one that we've worked with that they custody all sorts of things for folks, and it's a choice by Kingdom Trust. They will do your brokerage account. They can do a uh, IRA account. They can do a Roth account. And they, one of the interesting things is they will work with you to custody almost anything. So if you're interested in opening a brokerage account and or an IRA and trading crypto, you know, doing other investments, you can do that. Um, one thing related to Kingdom Trust, because they are a trust company and not a brokerage, they operate by slightly different rules than the brokerages Charles Schwab interactive brokers in terms of how and what they can sell to their clients. So you may find a little bit more flexibility there in terms of what you can buy, big picture, 
and may not face some of the same restrictions you would at Charles Schwab and Interactive Brokers. As well, you know, if you have accounts with Fidelity, with TD Ameritrade, you in many cases can take your existing accounts and move them over uh, to a new address, but you may face restrictions on buying and selling. You may be in a position where you can only close. They'll keep your address, but you can only sell uh, you know, positions that you have and not open new ones. So from that perspective, you know, there are a variety of options depending on where you are in the world. Uh, you know, different options are better than others. Depending on your area of expertise, your level of expertise in trading, better options as well. So we encourage you to reach out to us and, you know, uh, see if it makes sense for you to work with us to become a client or see if, you know, uh, there's some guidance that we can provide in terms of the best brokerage for your particular situation as an American expatriate.